coming from our last project, let's go and add some little cuts here to show you some extra tools. Now, if you don't actually have this file, don't worry, you can get it down in the description. It's completely free. Just put a zero there in the Gumroad page. But like always, I want to start from a brand new fresh file. So I'm going to press Control N, give me a brand new file here, and let's actually import something in. The shortcut is Command or Control O. It's also up here on the top left hand side. And I'm going to import Project 3, the C. 3d file click open and that's going to import it in it's going to be really big so let's press forward slash to fit it to our screen and there it is now i want to select everything so making sure that all of my selection properties are on i am going to drag a big box here press h to hide it all away and now i'm going to start this all off by that lovely disclaimer letting you know that plasticity is very much still in development expect things to break feedback and the discord links and all of that is down in the description please go through the first videos before you jump into this one because a lot of information has already been covered and you need to know how to deal with plasticity when things go wrong and there's just a lot more to cover before you jump here so with that said let's go and grab a corner rectangle and i'm going to pull this out like here we're in that active tool so i'm going to press d i'm going to put in a dimension here of 30 hit enter i'll now press F, put in a dimension here of five, hit enter, right click to confirm that. And now I'm wanting to just trim away some edges that I don't want here. So to do that, we're gonna press T to use my little trim tool that's there. And we're gonna click on those two edges there, right click to confirm that operation. Now I'm wanting to change some of the control points here. So I'll press number one to go into our control point selection, select this control point here. I want to move it. Remember that the context menu has all the shortcuts on it. So I'm gonna press G. And I'm going to move this on the Y by 20, hit enter, right click to confirm that operation. Now I'm looking to mirror this on the X. Now the way to do this is right here. So let's click that with Alt X if you want. So Alt X and we get this lovely little mirroring gizmo. Just be aware that mirroring is actually really, really powerful inside of here. Just know that there's also a freestyle mirroring that lets you mirror from any face as well. So just keep that in mind. So I'm just going to mirror across over to this side. Perfect. That is exactly what I want. I'm going to right click to confirm that. But keep note, we do have two curves here so i'm looking to join these so i'll select both of these and i'll use our nice little join command with j and now we have that curve i'm going to do a little fillet of all so i'll press d and i'll put in the unit of three and hit enter i'm happy with that there let's bring back our solid to see where this is not really in a useful position right this minute so let's go and move that i'll press g now on the X, I'm gonna move it in this direction by 20. I'm happy with that. Hit enter, right click to confirm that operation. And now I'm looking to rotate it up there. We're gonna be using free style rotation once again. So I'll press R to do that. Then I'll press F for freestyle, and we have to set the axis first. So I'm gonna go from this center, along the Z, that is the axis of rotation now set. And I'm gonna go from the X and this now lets me do this lovely rotation. So I'm gonna go and type in here, the unit amount that I want is 30 degrees because I'm wanting to move halfway across the triangle. A little bit of mathematics there, click okay. But keep in mind, the rotation move is still active. We have to right click to confirm it. And now there it is in place. So we could do many things here. We could cut away with another solid and all the rest, but let's do a radial array because I want to show you how to cut a solid with a curve. So we're going to do that radial array on the X axis. So find that X, sorry, the Z axis. Let's click that Z axis there. I'm going to do this by three. That's exactly what I'm wanting click OK, and I'm happy with that there. And take a look in the context menu. There's this little tool right here, which is cut solid with curve. Now we could select the solid and then just press C and it'll do it all in one. But I want to just press this first so you can see how this sort of dialogue works here. So now it's telling us to select the target bodies. So all I'm going to do is select this one right here. And you'll see that it shows the cutting planes of those curves. That's exactly what I'm wanting to do. I'm going to hit right click to confirm that. 
and there it is. I'm going to hide all of the curves. You can see we have a whole bunch of new solids here. I'm just going to hold down shift and select all of those. Press X to delete them. And I'm wanting to do a little bevel on these. Now, all of those curves on these faces are all tangent. So I just need to select one edge on them all. And that will then mean that when I pull this and I set this to, for instance, one, right click, and there we have it. Let's make this look pretty by right clicking up here, pressing that little red circle. Maybe we'll go and hide the edges as well. And there we have that lovely model now done. As always, make sure you save and let's carry on. Now, if you want to share what you're making or get a little bit of help with plasticity, you can join the Maker Tales Discord where I have a plasticity channel right there, or you can try and join the plasticity Discord and information for that will be down in the description or in the top pinned comment where I'll be keeping that as up to date as possible. If you're enjoying what I'm making here and you think I'm worthy of your support, you can join this lovely group of esteemed people, my lovely patrons. Thank you so very much. And a big thank you to my VIP makers, Jem Oskinacht and David Fernandez. It really means means the world to me. Thank you for watching, keep making, and let the quest continue.